Prescott looking that way. Throw it away. Almost intercepted. That would have been a touchdown. Jenkins and his nickname, the Jackrabbit, because he almost hopped on this one enough to turn it into six points for the Giants. And if he catches the football. So the Cowboys on the move. Here comes a blitz. Prescott's going to go for it all. Going to the far side. Incomplete. No flags. Janoris Jenkins had coverage on Amari Cooper and a good coverage too. Look how Jenkins gets him to the sideline. Now you could make a case that Jenkins got to... It's first and 10 from the 25. Fake to Mac. The slant and it's incomplete. Jenkins was all over the receiver, Ryan Grant. An end zone throw. Knocked away. Janoris Jenkins. Jenkins has been playing well, gotten healthy here the last couple of weeks. If you're going to go 50 50, I might have gone to the other side if they were mirrored routes, but good coverage. Jenkins, a Pro Bowl corner of the pass, playing at a Pro Bowl. Those camp family lights. After the penalty here, is Daniel to throw it. Knocked away nicely. Janoris Jenkins. And it'll bring up a third down and long. Look at Jenkins. You see him looking inside to see the snap, and then he takes all of his concentration to number 12. A sidearm attempt was that intercepted? Yep. It rolled off the defender, and this is Ogletree into the end zone for a touchdown. Well, here's the thing uh, this is just a great job by Janoris Jenkins reading the route. I mean, he ran it before the shot Jackson ran it. Alec Ogletree running to the football, and that ball does not hit the ground. And the awareness to pick up, get up off the ground and go score points. And a guy that struggled in coverage to make a hustle play like this, always running to the ball, it's a nice reward for number 52, Alec Ogletree. Formation look with the fullback. Second and 12 from his own goal line with time. And that ball is intercepted. B.J. Goodson off the deflection. And he's late with it. You can see it in rhythm and timing. Nothing is there. He's pumping the ball. Now he makes that throw all the way, and it's late. And Janoris Dickens. Yeah, I nice. like this quick screen to Kittle. There it is. Good eyes on you, but they see it as well as Jenkins comes up with the tackle. And as Ryan goes back to Julio Jones. Julio thinks he caught it. The referees waved it off, saying it's incomplete. Ryan. Complete again to Jones. Ball came out at the end, but they are waving it incomplete. Joe. Julio caught it, and as he's bringing it in, Jenkins gets his hand in, and Julio can't get it to his body. In that situation, though, Bug, Julio's got to be have more awareness. He knows where the defender is. He's on his back hip. Right. We always say catch and tuck away from the defender before two, he, two feet hit the ground. And Julio didn't do that in that situation. After review, the Atlanta receiver possessed and controlled the ball. It was a catch. Fumbled the football. Eventually recovered by the New York Giants at the 20-yard line. First down. New York will not be charged with a timeout. And that is by our look and here it is the right ruling you know julio's so good at the run after catch sometimes that's all he's thinking about in that situation like i was saying before the break you really want to tuck that thing away play clock again winding down they get the snap off this time three receivers set newton from the end zone and that is broken up by janoris jenkins passing 10 8 for devin Funches. so the panthers will punt it away from their end zone Time wasn't an issue, he's protected well, but this is excellent coverage by Jenkins as he drapes himself on the intended receiver. Right from the locker room, third down and eight. Newton under pressure from Landon Collins, it's picked up by Janoris Jenkins. Jenkins in Panthers territory, then cuts it back, picks up a blocker inside the 40, and down at the 34-yard line of Carolina. 21 right here. 
Now watch him come at Cam Newton right there. And he jumps over the attempted block by Christian McCaffrey and knocks Cam Newton off stride trying to hit Ian Thomas. That pressure helped force an inaccurate pass. Look at Collins' athleticism. Warning. Go to work, trailing by 12. Pass off the hand of Hopkins with Jenkins defending. It could be dangerous this year. No Olivier Vernon. Out today due to injury. As Janoris Jenkins made the catch, he stayed in bounds for the interception. What a play. Wow. Jack Rabbit. Doing what he does best, baby, taking the ball away. Champs, Eagles, and the Jaguars top two in red zone touchdown percentage last season. As Bortles throws, nearly picked off and then nearly caught wow. by Niles Paul. So first Jenkins almost had his second interception of the half, and then the longtime Redskin Paul had an opportunity in the end zone. Here's Janoris Jenkins. Watch him get a little greedy with his eyes, but finds the covers. He jumps it perfectly. I would expect Janoris Jenkins to make that play. And then Niles Paul just juggling it for about 10 seconds, it seemed like. Oh. 